it. We're there. We're live. Hi, friends. Happy. I'm so used to live streaming on Sunday. I have to remember, this isn't Sunday. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to another live stream. If you are new, my name is Nikki. I live stream every Sunday, although today I'm live streaming on Wednesday. I live stream once a week, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any new live streams. I'm so sorry I didn't live stream last Sunday, but last Sunday was Mother's Day and I was this close to live streaming, but I was like, I wanna spend time with my mom. So I didn't live stream last Sunday. And then the Sunday before that, I think I was sick. And if I'm being honest, I'm like struggling right now. I have no nail color on. So when I show you these products, please be kind. My nails look crazy. Um, my stomach is like killing me. I think I've told you guys this, but I have like food allergies. So if I eat one thing that I'm not supposed to, it's just like my stomach like turns into knots. So I have to remember because you're, you're on a table and sometimes if I like let's sit down really quickly when I watch the recording, it sounds like, like thunder just hit. So I have to remember to try to not shake the phone. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Full disclosure, all of this stuff was sent to me for free. So, I did I put anything? Oh, I always forget to update the live description box. But if you're watching the recording, I have linked everything down below if you wanna check it out. And I told you everything was sent to me because it is a PR haul, so let's jump into it. So the first two things I have here are these two masks that were sent to me from cosmetics actually one is a mask and one is a serum so let's talk about the mask first i have it pulled up online so i can read to you about it let me see so this one is the cosmetics rescue and intense hydrating balm and mask and it says it's a multi-purpose skin healer this does retail for 59 dollars and let's see, it says it's hydrating a balm that rapidly relieves extremely dry, cracked, or chapped skin. So this is perfect for any of you that have dry skin. The protective balm provides instant relief to irritated or inflamed skin and is perfect following resurfacing treatment. So I think this is really good like if you get a peel or if you get a microdermabrasion and your skin is really dry and you want to add some moisture into it. So let's see, it says... Apply to severely dry or post-procedural skin. So I think it's really good for post-procedural skin. It says, may be left on for a few minutes or overnight. It has shea butter and argan oil, which I love both of those. It's ultra hydrating, uh, ultra hydrating duo that dramatically improves the appearance of skin. So I actually have quite a few masks from Cosmetics now. So I'm gonna do a mask review video. Ooh, look at the packaging. How cute is that? very clean looking with the white and the silver oh my god my nails are horrible um so i'm gonna do a mask review video on this i'm actually gonna film it this weekend i have a couple of cosmetics mask and eye serum so i'm gonna do that so i'm excited to try this out is it opened oh it is Ooh, it smells very like medical grade kind of masky but it has a clean scent also. Can you see that? I don't think my camera, can. oh wow, my camera can focus. It's, it looks like kind of like a jelly texture. And um, yeah, it smells like soap. That's what it smells like. It smells like soap. Can you see that? It kind of looks like a jelly soap. So I don't want to pull it out because I don't want to put it out because every time I push it out, stuff out, it goes flying everywhere. So I'm going to do a full mask review on these cosmetics masks. And I'm gonna do like multi-masking and put it in different areas. Honestly, I have very oily skin, so I don't know if this would be good for me, but I do have some dry areas, like under my eyes are a little dry. So I'm excited to try that. Next up, we have another cosmetics product. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? Focus camera. It's trying to focus on me. Maybe if I move it here. There we go. This is the Cosmetics Opti Crystal Liquid Crystal Eye Serum, and this baby is pricey. Hi, Christine. Hi, Mom. <laughs> My mom says, hey, Nikki. This is $95, so this is a pricey one, guys. So let me tell you about it. It says it's a combination of science and botanical ingredients that help firm the skin and smooth lines and wrinkles. Conditioning moisturizers help attract and... Uh, retain vital moisture in the skin 
It says how to use, use nightly gently pat a pin sized drop around eye area. So this is specifically best for around your eye area. It says it's good for all skin types. It reduces puffiness, dark circles, fine lines, and dehydration. So key ingredients, copper complex, uh, spin trap and alpha lo lipoic? lipoic acid. Wow, okay, I've never even heard of those, which fight harmful free radicals and liquid crystals, which provides deep lasting hydration. So I'm assuming that's why this is so pricey because you get 0.25 ounces. Can I open this? Let's see if this one's open. I don't know if you can tell. Let me show you in comparison to the other one. So it's not as much as the other one. You don't get half as much product and it is pricey. So this one is the one that's 95. This one is the one that is 59. So if any of you have tried this, cause I never heard of this brand until they sent it to me, let me know. But I'm excited to put these to the test and I'll give you guys a full review on them. Let's see if this one's open. Oh wow, look at that applicator. It's got like a glass top nozzle where you squeeze the product out of. So I'm excited to try this one. I'm always excited to try pricey skincare see if it lives up to its name and all of its claims. So I will give both of these a try and keep an eye out for the review video. That'll be coming this, no, I'm gonna film it this weekend, so that'll probably be coming next week. I will link both of these down below if you're watching the recording. So next up, have a very interesting product and they sent me a lot of information. They actually sent it in this really cute pink package. I thought it was actually Ipsy because you know Ipsy comes in this kind of like bag too. And it is a silicone blender and this is their website, siliconeblender.com. I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm excited to try it. And they sent, look at how much stuff they sent. They sent a lot of information about it. So let me read it to you. So essentially they're like beauty blender sponges, sponges but instead of being that I don't know what material beauty blenders are. They are a silicone um, material. And it says, innovative texture design to blend flawlessly for an airbrush look and professional finish. I've been seeing these all over YouTube. I don't know if it's this specific company, but I've been seeing people using these on YouTube. And look at it. Wow, it feels like one of those like squishy toys you used to get back in the day like from the candy machine. I wasn't expecting it to be this dense. It feels really dense and look at it. It's my favorite color, but I don't know if you guys can see. Don't look at my nails. Look at the sparkle in there. Isn't that cool? I like how pretty it is. So let me tell you about it. It says it's the future of makeup application. It's time to give the traditional makeup sponge a makeover. Oh, you can't even see it. There we go. Uh, blending perfection. The 3D silicone blender was developed by makeup lovers along with technical expertise of engineers and scientists. It says it gives targeted precision. It's the most hygienic makeup application. I have to be honest, that's one thing I don't like about the beauty blender. I tend to wash it a lot because it's cloth or whatever it is and you know you have to clean that because the makeup gets stuck in there, you wet it, and then back. it's just a breeding ground for bacteria. So I do like that this is silicone, so you won't have that problem. It says it's medical grade silicone, which is a great choice, not only for amazing ability to blend makeup, but also for a number of reasons. Like it talks about how like normal sponges are really dirty, which I agree. This is very easy to clean and you use a lot less product. So I'm excited to try this out. This is their website. Can you guys see that? There we go. Siliconeblender.com. So I'm going to do a review video on this this weekend and just put on all I use sponges. I know a lot of people use these to like put on all their makeup. I don't use these for that. All I use these for is to put on the concealer under my eye. Like today I have concealer on under my eye. And so I just use my beauty blender to pat that in. So. I'm excited to try this. That's another video. I have a lot of filming to do this weekend. That's another video that I am going to get that in there. Film this weekend, and I will let you know my thoughts on that. Siliconeblender.com. Oh, and they also sent a little postcard on like how to apply, blend, and clean it. And I guess if you're watching the recording, you didn't even know, but. <laughs> 
the live stream just stopped. But I love when brands send you like a lot of information so you can share. So I'm excited to try that out. I will be filming that this weekend. And then lastly, I got this huge package. Let's see if I can like try not to drop it. From Peak Cosmetics. So I'm going to quickly go through this with you guys. There's a lot of stuff in here. So they sent me... So they not only sell cosmetics, but they also sell hair products. So one thing they sent me, I haven't even opened yet, is this brush. What does it say? It says, care for your hair. It's a knotty detangling brush, which is pretty cool. That's what it looks like. You can see better from here, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Look at those bristles. I don't have a detangling brush, and I need one, so that's cool. They also sent, I actually filmed a makeup tutorial using all of this stuff. I'll try to get that up soon because I do have detailed thoughts and reviews on it. So I'll try to get that up soon. But they also sent their Peak Cosmetics Campfire 3D Fiber Lashes Mascara. And it comes in this little kit, which is really cool. It feels like, um, like faux leather. And it's in here. So what you do, essentially, if you've never used fiber mascaras, one is the fiber. One is the mascara. You put the mascara on first, then you go in with the fibers, and it really thickens and lengthens your lashes. And then you go back in with the mascara. If you have sensitive eyes, I would say stay away from these. But if you don't, I find it really effective. So it comes in this nice little kit. And then this is the back. It says Campfire 3D Fiber Lashes. So I'll use that. Then they sent these. They have really interesting um, products. I've never, like, really tried they have these Peak Cosmetics Duets. So essentially what it is, is you have the color. This is the color Iced Coffee. You have the color of the lip shade on this side. And this was really light on me. Like, look at that. I put it on like that and I was like, uh, I probably should have used a lip liner. Like if I'm going to wear a color like that, I need to use a lip liner. So you have the color on one side. And then if you want to make it glossy... I don't know if it's glossy. Yeah, if you want to make it glossy, then you have the gloss on this side that you top it with. But if you don't want to make it glossy, you don't have to use that part. But very interesting. So I did film my thoughts when I put this on. So that will be up soon. Um, I like the idea. This one is called Latte. Oh, it's backwards for you guys. Can you guys see that? Come on, camera. You can do it. I did. This one is called Latte. Uh, I just think the colors are probably not for my skin tone. Like, look at how light this is. It's even, it's like, more, it's as light as the bottom color, but it's more of a peach color. I don't know. I need to try these with lip liners. So, that was those two. They also, I mean, they were really gracious with this package. They also sent this, um... What are these things called? Like the silly sponge? These, you know, the things you're seeing everywhere on YouTube that are people are using to put their foundation on. And I actually used this for the first time. They sent me two of them. The other one I used is in my makeup kit. Um, to you, I used it to put my foundation on, so you'll hear my thoughts on that. They sent two of these. Then we have this Peak Cosmetics. What is this called? Modern Neutrals 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. Let me show you the colors in here. So these are the colors. And of course, my favorite color is this purple color because I love like bright colors. It's more of a neutrals palette like it's called. So you'll see me using this in the tutorial and I'll tell you my thoughts on that. And then lastly, the big doozy that they sent is this amazing curling wand that came with three different, um, I think they're called like heads or something. How do I, how did I open this? Last time it took me a while to get this open. Oh boy. Oh God. I want to be able to show it to you, but I don't want it to go flying everywhere. How did I, oh, oh. <laughs> duh. Easy. The top comes off. There we go. There we go. Look at that, guys. I haven't used a curling wand in so long because, one, I wear wigs all the time, but <laughs> they sent this curling wand, and you get one, two, three different heads. So, like, if you want to make your curls bigger 
or smaller, you just change the curling wand head. So I'm like super excited to give this a try. It's been so long, I'm not kidding. It's probably been like a year since I've curled my hair because if I want curly hair, I just put on a curly wig. That's why I love wigs. So, <laughs> so that's everything they sent. Expect the video for this next week and I go through all the products and I talk about them and what I like and some things maybe I don't like. Also keep an eye out for this. I'm most excited, oops. Most excited to try out this sponge and then we have the cosmetics mask that video is going to be filmed this weekend so that's it friends that's everything I have in my PR haul I will be going live I promise you this Sunday I'm back on track with the live streams every Sunday so I hope that you subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any live streams and I will see you I actually have another video going up tomorrow so I'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you Sunday all right, bye guys. Ciao.